Hey, Jonathan here and welcome to this new guide on how to create a YouTube like app. So it's a basically a video sharing app. We call it Flutube and you can upload and deliver HLS videos using Firebase, Flutter and a video hosting and processing API called Publitio. So you can select a video, upload it. You can see the progress bar up here. This is sending the file to uh, Firebase storage and activating a Firebase cloud function, which in turn uploads it to the Publitio API for processing. And now we can click on this video. That's it. So this uh, tutorial will focus less on the UI of the app itself because there are uh, many examples of, of how to do a YouTube clone with Flutter. I didn't see uh, a reason to get into that too deeply. So this isn't really a um, a fully responsive UI. So this is just a mock-up working on mobile, actually only on uh, on portrait portrait mode. But I chose to focus more on the actual uploading and delivering of the videos and how to make all that work together with um, with Flutter, Firebase APIs. So let's get started. So the first thing we're gonna do is Flutter create, of course. Flutter, we're gonna call it Flutter uh, video sharing. And we're gonna wait for this to create our app, our project. So now I've opened the folder in VS Code and I'm going, I'm going to run the uh, starter app just to see that uh, everything is running. Create a JSON file. I'm going to run it in the Android emulator. Just click start debugging, start debugging. Great, so now that this is running, I'm just gonna go to the, the next step we're gonna do is uh, add Firebase to our app because we wanna finish with all that, that setup. So I'm gonna go to the Firebase um, Flutter docs. Just gonna copy the commands here to make sure I'm already logged in, but these are steps you're gonna have to make on your end, so let's do them. Firebase login. And I'm already logged in. So now we're going to initialize, basically activate the uh, relatively new CLI, which is a more convenient way of uh, initializing the, the Firebase within Flutter. Okay, now I'm going to copy the Flutter Fire configure command, which is going to uh, show me all my Firebase projects. And this is uh, pretty convenient because you can uh, actually create a new Firebase project straight from the CLI. So this is what we're going to do. When the fetching will be done, So I'm gonna I'm gonna choose create a new project. How do you name this? Flutter <coughs> video sharing. 
So now this is uh, creating a new project. Okay, now it's asking me which platform, so just gonna press enter for all of them. And this is uh, this is uh, skipping the the manual creation of apps within the the Firebase console. So as you can see, this is uh, registering a new Firebase Android app, a new iOS app. It's gonna make a new web app, etc., etc. So this is now finished and we can go to the Firebase console and see the new uh, project that has been created. It has three apps, uh, which will be Android, iOS, web. But now we need to continue in order to initialize the, uh, the Firebase core and actually use it in Flutter. So I'm going to run this now. And we need to run this again after everything we add. This is a CLI requirement. And we can just continue with the steps provided here, which are very convenient and save a lot of time uh, compared to the old way we used to uh, have to do it. So I can add this here and in main dart we have to run this command which is the command for initializing Firebase and we need to add the async modifier here. I'm gonna save this. And here in the terminal, it's asking me again for the project. Now it's important I select the project that we've already created. So this won't create new platform apps but only uh, fetch them from the um, from this project that is already created. So now we are ready to add the next Firebase plugin that we need, which is Firebase Storage. So I'm just going to copy it from the list of plugins here, and you can use this nice feature to copy the command add that as well and the last one we will need is the cloud functions this is where the video processing is going to happen cloud functions and after this we will have to run Flutter Fire Configure again. And this is the command that is going to uh, initialize the Firebase storage and the cloud functions on the, on the Firebase side. Let's select the project again. Okay, so this is the basic uh, Firebase setup. And now we can start writing the actual app code. And we're gonna start with the uh, image picking uh, part of the app, which is probably the simplest. So Flutter pub add image picker. This is the image picker library. We're gonna use it to select a video and upload it. 
and we are going to uh, just use the the main um, floating action button for now and after that we're gonna extract it to the relevant place so we can start by renaming renaming this to uh, take video this is what happens when you click the button to dip take video need to run it again okay now delete this and we can start by actually we're going to start by initializing our um, our image picker so we have final image picker initializing the, the image picker object importing it and we can get rid of counter image picker now we can use this image picker in take video so let's make this async and here we're gonna wait image picker dot pick video and we have to give it a source so that's going to be image source we're going to use gallery for now but uh, of course this works with the camera as well and we have to uh, save this value somewhere So now we can check if the return file is null, which happens if uh, the user cancels the operation, we can just return. And if not, we can start a new Firebase storage upload task. Dot inst okay, we need to import this and dot instance. Ref. child so now we need to give the, f the file a name and we can just take the the name of the file and put file so this will probably throw an error because these days image picker returns an X file See, this is an X file and Firebase uh, receives a file argument. So we can just wrap this with a regular file, dart io, and give it the file path. And we basically just need to await this. So, of course, this doesn't have any loading progress bar or anything. This is just a basic test to see that we're in the right direction. And where's my emulator? I can now run this and hope that it works. Let's see. So after waiting a little bit, we're getting this uh, exception, which is, uh, which is very common. And this is because the initialize app didn't finish uh, it, it basically ran before the app was initialized so we need to uh, we can basically just copy it from the from the message ensure initialized this is the widget flutter bindings ensure initialized and 
So now the initializer will only run when this is initialized. You can save this and save this and reload the app. Okay, so let's see if this is from the previous one. Okay, so now no errors, we can click the button and we can see that it shows us the, uh, the image picker. So I have, uh, because we selected videos, it's showing me the videos. I have a few demo videos here on the emulator, which I downloaded from the Pexels website. Just select a small one. And so this is probably because the cloud storage actually does need to be initialized manually from the console. We're going to start in test mode because we don't want to mess around with security rules for now. That is creating so it sounds like this should be created automatically, but it doesn't. Okay, so now it's now let's just try it again. Let's see if it did the trick. Background. Okay, so we're not getting this error anymore, and we can just go ahead and check through the console if we see the new file created. Let's try again. Okay bunch of stuff written here increasing chunk size that's a good sign now let's hope the file is here okay so we can see the video file here correct size and <clears throat> And now we can go ahead and continue. So the next thing that we need to do is add an entry for this file in, um, in Firestore. So I think this is a good place to take a break and be sure to check out the next video in the series where we will continue working on this app and start uh, pushing data into Firestore, show a stream builder with a list of videos and make a cloud function for processing the video using the Publitio API for streaming HLS. Hope you've enjoyed it so far and if you want to get notified or you like this content be sure to subscribe to the channel below. See you for more. Bye.